first thing I started doing was physically training and a big problem came into mind that how am I going to prepare myself for the cold? The second that I got into the freezer, I realized, oh my, this is really something different. I'm not prepared for this. Probably spent about 10 minutes in there before I couldn't handle it. And then it gradually got up to an hour, two hours, and last few times that I've spent there, I spent six hours straight on there. I got selected to go into an Antarctic expedition along with 20 others worldwide. I'd left there at the promise that I was gonna come back to my land and do something for it. I went there, I learned from the experts there, I trekked, I had the most amazing journey of my life. And I came back and I thought I had to do something bigger than what I had initially promised. I needed to tackle the plastic bags because that's something that I really wanted to change about anywhere. And in this part of the world, we grew up very fast. And we've, we've been around for 40 years and things have expanded so quickly that things like our waste also expand very rapidly. This is my land. My wadis, my mountains. This is the place where I grew up. We have a responsibility to this place to keep it clean, to keep it pristine for our children and our grandchildren. Many people ask me why I went all the way to the Antarctic. What? It's because I had to give something back to my land. I wanted the pride and I wanted the honor to take the Omani flag in places where it's not been before. It'll always be there in my heart. I really want to see young Omanis starting to do something by themselves. I don't want people to wait for an initiative or a cleanup campaign to go out and do it or join in. I want young people to start their own thing. Representing my country and actually getting there, putting that flag there, that was what I wanted to give.